welcome back to the unboxers. Today we have some post Easter haul. This is some stuff we found in, at Target after Easter in the Easter section that we thought was cool. That we just wanted to see how this works. Um, we have two frozen eggs. Of course, you know, uh, it says candy and stickers, and candy and stickers are good any time of year, even though it comes in egg form. Also, we have an Olaf one over there, and we have this Olaf making kit. Let me see if I can zoom back. There we go. So you take this, it looks like this foamy stuff, shape it, and poke these pieces in and make your own Olaf. So we're going to be doing that to get to today for you um, as soon as we open our eggs. So we're going to open our eggs first, see which stickers we get, and give the, I just have a little avalanche over here. Have um, a little sampling of the candy. Let you know what it tastes like. Let's see if we can get into this. I don't know if there's a pull thing or not. There we go. Oh well. Bye bye, Anna and Elsa face. Okay, there we go. So there's our candy. And the castles. And here's our stickers. Oh, these are cool. Olaf. Anna and Elsa, and then Anna and Elsa together. Very cool. So I don't know if the same stickers come in each one. Um, go ahead and give a blue castle a try. Oh, we're very sweet tarty. Sweet tarty taste them. Very good. And kind of Pez tasting. Very crunchy. All right, let's see what comes in this one. I'm assuming the same candy. Here. But let's see, blue egg. Yep, same candy. Castle goodness. And same stickers. But that's okay. We can share with a friend or we can stick them in two different places. That's cool. Very awesome. Can't go wrong with frozen, even if it's a double. Alright, so here we go. We're on to Olaf. It says back up there a little bit shape it build it add pieces let's look on the back oh the back is not much more helpful so we might be winging it unless there's instructions inside here so let's get into this part first okay so this part that comes oh no I dug his pieces off of him. this piece helps you keep the pieces together where it was supposed to. You know, all the pieces came out in here. Oh, look at his face. That's funny. He's got his little arms and the buttons. Cool buttons. Let's put all of his pieces over here and get rid of his rush. <clears throat> there we go. So there's all of Olaf's pieces and they were attached to this to show you what to do. Okay, I think this is, uh, there's no more instructions. I think we're just gonna be winging it. Now on here, it does show like a perfectly shaped Olaf. That is not probably gonna happen on camera anyway. So, you open this part and I'm curious to know if this stuff dries out. Let's see, ooh, very neat feeling. <laughs> this stuff feels cool. I've messed with Stuff, you know the sands and stuff before but this is like liquid uh, not liquid smooshy styrofoam Easter of course like five dollars before and a dollar and something after so we just want to try it out sound like fun and let's see I'm gonna try and use that as my go-to so this bottom part is pretty big there we go and then he has a middle kind of part. Uh, let's see, right there. And he's got his head, which is pretty big. We'll add this to the bottom part. And he's got some feet. We'll rip the feet off of here. Okay, so let's start with the bottom part. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. This is his middle, it's for his feet. So, you just kind of 
boom it and press it. And I think it's supposed to be, let's see, maybe I'll steal a little bit more from the head stuff. But it's supposed to be pretty, pretty good size. There we go. And his feet. I'm gonna make, let me zoom down here. There we go. We want to make them equal size. Try to round them out. And they stick. Oh, they kind of do stick. So, like I said, if you, you know, if you're not doing it on camera, you can mess around a little bit more. You can probably make it look a whole lot better than what I'm doing. But there we go. His feet are supposed to be kind of apart like that. There we go. And then his middle section, which is like smaller than this, and his head. So it's kind of rounded. We'll set that on there. Oh my gosh, this is cooler than I thought. Okay, and then you kind of make his head not a regular snowman shaped head, but more of an Olaf shaped head, which has kind of cheeks sticking out. Um, like that. And you know, he got your face piece, so you just have to make it the basic shape. Um, put the face on. Everybody's going to know who it's supposed to be, hopefully. So let's see if I can get his head stuck on there. It's probably supposed to be a little bit more rounded than that. Let's see. There we go. I don't know, what do you think? Let's see. This part should not be so... There we go. Well, that's that's not too bad for on camera. And let's see, not so much with the cheeks like that. All right, I'm trying to puff him out a little bit, not to make him so flat-faced. Pointier here, and more rounded out here. There we go. Well, you know, you get the you get the gist of it. All right, so. First, we'll pop on his buttons. One down here, one kind of in the middle, and one a little higher. And then we're gonna pop on his arms. Let's see, let's get him in the right. This is fun. This is fun to work with. Really fun. Like, you know, step up from Play Doh, I think. This is fun stuff. Okay, and then his hair on top. It's very cool. And then we're going to give him his face. Which apparently I made his head rather big. And then once you get the face on, you can kind of mess with it and make him look, you know, better than what I can do, like I said. Well, I want his face to stay on there good. There we go. It's trying to come off, but I don't know why. Goodbye, hair. Okay, there we go. All right. Let's stick his hair back on. And now, once you put the pieces on, you can kind of mold the stuff around it if they have trouble falling off. And it's not meant to be a, you know, it's meant to be a craft that you don't play with afterwards. Maybe after you let it dry, it wouldn't have a problem staying together. But there you go. That's not so bad. His head is pretty big. But, like I said, you can work it, mold it, make it a little bit more Olaf shaped um, as you play with it. But I think that's a pretty cute set. Let's put our stickers out here. There you can see in our candy. These are the same. Actually, let's give him a little place of honor. And back him up. I think that was a pretty cool kit. There he is. So there's Olaf. Like I said, <laughs> I could do better probably not on camera, and I'm sure you guys could too. Hit that like button if you're a Frozen fan, anything Frozen, um, or if you want to try and get one of these kits and build these things. Hopefully they'll be coming out with more on the other holidays. So thank you so much for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and we will see you next time.